This video is not intended for children. I am an adult doll collector and I'm making this video for other adult doll collectors or anybody who is considering buying these dolls as a gift for somebody else. I have no idea what my hair is doing today. Hi everybody, my name is Chad and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing some new Monster High dolls. And of course I'm not talking about new as in newly released or newly designed. Um, these are actually older dolls, but they have been popping up at the Ross stores, like Ross Dress for Less. Um, I know that there's some states that don't have Ross in them, but um, Ross is a chain across um, the U.S. that they're starting to get some of these older Monster High dolls. Now, these are like the budget dolls, so they're ones that were like $15. I was able to find these at Ross for $5.99, so $6 each, which was a great deal. A couple weeks ago, I saw the Doll Circles video where Elvira went doll hunting at Ross because she found out that, you know, the Monster High dolls were starting to pop up. So I decided to go out that day. I went to, I want to say, about six different locations. On the third location I went to, I was able to find these four dolls. And the last two locations, each one had one additional doll there, but they were one that I already got. So um, anyway, I'm just really excited because I haven't gotten... I haven't found any Monster High dolls in the wild and been able to buy them for a really long time. So um, let's just get right into it. So the dolls I was able to find was a Cleo Denial from the Crypteria line. I've got Toralai from Coffin Bean. And then I've got two from the Ghoul Spirit. I was able to find Frankie and Spectra. I have seen people finding Freaky Fusion budget dolls from Freaky Fusion. And um, I forgot what other lines there were. I've been trying to not go out to stores as much. Every once in a while I'll stop by a Ross just to see if any more popped up, but I don't know if it was just like that week that they got them and now they're all gone, or if they're going to be continuously getting them. I don't know, but um, I'm just really happy to get these. Now obviously this is still back when the packaging still kind of had this coffin shape to it. Um, you have this beautiful artwork. I love Cleo's artwork. I always think that she is one of the prettiest. I really, really like Cleo. Um, and then of course they have the other characters from the line that this is from on the back. I have seen other people finding the Draculaura and the Howleen from this line. I really, really, really want this Howleen, but none of the Ross stores um, had it when I went there. Uh, and then of course down here, you've got a little blurb that you can read if you like. So like I mentioned, um, you know, Ross has their little stickers here where they show what the doll was originally priced for. That's like their suggested retail price because we know that they weren't always like marked at that price there. But um, then there is the price that I got it for, which is $5.99. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Um, I'm not really an inbox collector, especially for Monster High. Plus I might end up customizing a couple of these. So they're all gonna be coming out of their box anyway. Ugh. I'm so excited to be unboxing Monster High dolls again. It's been a while. I don't actually think I own any um, Monster High dolls that are still in their box. Um, I think I have the Cleo and Gulia set that was San Diego Comic-Con, or was supposed to be at San Diego Comic-Con, but I don't think it ever was. I think they decided to just sell it on like Mattel's website or something like that. But I have those two dolls still in the box, but I think all the rest of my Monster High dolls are out of the box now. And now there's a siren going by, sorry about that. Oh my gosh, her hair. Back when Monster High dolls had really, really high quality hair. Uh, and I love the colors too. So here is Cleo. I love the combination. This is literally my favorite colors together. You've got this teal and purple. That's my favorite color combination. So I absolutely love her hair. And her hair is really nice quality. It feels like there's a little bit of product in it, like a little bit of hair gel, but I'm not feeling any of that like glue seepage or anything like that. So that's definitely good. It looks like my Cleo's eyes might be printed like 
a millimeter too high, but honestly, they're even, so that's really all that I care about. I also really like this necklace. It's got like a little scarab beetle on it. You know what's really funny? This outfit, I love this outfit, first of all. I love the colors, but I had a Cleo doll that I got from a thrift store, like, two years ago, I want to say, and I found, I was looking for an outfit for her to wear since she was just naked, and um, I found this outfit on eBay and bought it not knowing it was from this line, so I actually have another Cleo, a completely different one with a different different hair and everything, um, but wearing this exact outfit, uh, so now I've got two of them, so, but that's okay, I don't, I really don't mind doubles, but I really like the geometric looking patterns. They're supposed to be like, obviously, mummy wrap, they're just different colors um, and then I really like these shoes these shoes are like little strappy sandals very Egyptian you know being that she is the daughter of the mummy me and my cousin Samantha are actually reading the Cain Chronicles which is by Rick Riordan and that is a book having to do with like Egyptian mythology and everything so I'm super into Egypt right now so I'm definitely geeking out over my new Cleo doll <laughs> she comes with these accessories it's like a little cafeteria tray or sorry uh, uh what is it called a uh, uh, creepateria. It's like the little creepateria tray, and then it's got a little bowl here with something in it. Oh, it looks like grapes. So it's like a bowl of grapes. I mean, that makes sense because she's like a, uh, you know, daughter of a pharaoh or something like that. And then this goblet here. I really like this. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a good close up. There we go. This, the detail on this goblet is really nice. It's got a lot of molded details on it. So, and it's, it's really pretty. It's, you know, it's flimsy, but that's good because if it was like a hard plastic, I could see this breaking really easily. Oh, I like the fact that she came with so many accessories back in the day. Next is Torelai, and she is from the Coffin Bean collection. All of the, all of the boxes pretty much have like the same, um, logos and everything. They just have different little emblems and stuff on the side, depending on what line it is. When I look on the back, you've also got um, an Abby and a Frankie. I actually have this Abby, but um, her hair had really, really bad glue seepage, so I actually rerouted her, um, and she's packed away right now. I really like this Frankie. I would like to have her. So I like how her other hand is up there holding the lid of the cup and it's not attached. <laughs> Down here is the little blurb for Torlai. Feel free to read that if you want. It's really funny because I actually don't have a lot of the Werecat dolls. In fact, do I have another Torlai? I think I might have another Torlai somewhere. I do. I have, um, I have a Torlai. She's in, I don't know which one it is. If I find her online, I'll put a picture right here of the Torlai that I have. But, um, anyway, I, I got her at like a Rite Aid or something like that. Some drugstore. She just happened to be on the shelf. This was after, you know, after Toys R Us was closed and, um, you know, it was hard to find Monster High dolls anyway at that time. So I was like, I'm just gonna take you home with me. Um, I really like that Torlai because she just happens to be a really good one. Like her, um, her face paint screening is really good and everything. Uh, and she's got her classic Torlai haircut and the dress she's wearing is like the classic Torlai um, print or pattern. Oh, they really secure it in here. Oh my gosh. Why is Torlai so difficult to get out of the box compared to the others? She's fighting back. Her joints are a little stiff from being in the box. But anyway, here's Torlai. I really like Torlai dolls. I, I just think, like, it's so funny because I've said, like, in my Rainbow High videos that orange is, like, my least favorite color. Couldn't tell you why. It's just not my favorite color. But for some reason, I just really like her and I like the fact that she's orange. I think she's really pretty. So especially, like, on my camera, like, the lighting is coming up pretty good. She's actually a really vibrant, I think, I think that the camera's making her look a little bit more vibrant than she is in person. But look at her face. She is so pretty. And her hair definitely has some box hair and there is product in it. There, this feels more like hair gel. Uh, no, no, there is also glue seepage. Dang it. Ugh. It's all sticky back here. But um, it's a nice quality hair. I just wish that it didn't have the glue seepage. Just look at her makeup and her face. I think it's so pretty. 
Here's her outfit. She's got like this pink tank top with this like pencil skirt that's kind of like a houndstooth design. It's a really interesting combination. They decided to do like a pink and red combo for her on, you know, with her orange. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's interesting. <laughs> Here are her shoes. Now, I know that they have used these shoes more than once before. Um, I have a Claudine that has these same shoes, but in gold. And I think it's the, the Ghoul's Rule Claudine. I don't know. It was the Claudine that I reviewed like at the beginning of this quarantine when I did my quarantine doll haul. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link down below. And if I remember, I'll put it up in the iCards as well. But um, yeah, it, it, she has the same mold. I don't know which doll came first. I'm assuming that it was probably the Ghoul's Rule uh, Claudine that came first. And then this one is just like a remold. Um, but I don't mind. I like I like them. They're pretty. She also came with this cute little, you know, spiked bangle bracelet. And then, of course, she comes with her drink from the Coffin Bean, which in this case is a little cauldron. It has a little skull. Is this skullet? It just one. This one just kind of looks like a little skull, but um, it has like this purple liquid in it. So whatever she ordered. Oh, and I totally forgot. I struggled getting the tail out of the package, but she does come with her tail. And then, of course, you just pop it in the back here. There we go. Twirlize tail. I, I like the wear cat's tails because I, I look at them like a little stand so if you're playing with them you can make them walk without actually having to hold the doll <laughs> i'm a grown-up i don't care what you say <laughs> okay so next i have the ghoul spirit frankie and uh spectra and i love spectra i only have one other spectra doll and it is the one where she's like a cheerleader or no no no, she's not a cheerleader she's playing tennis um so it's like the the ghoul sports or something. I don't know what line that's called, but if I find that one, I'll put the picture of that here as well. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, I'm really happy to have, no, no, that's a lie. I do have, I have two Spectras. One is the one where she's playing tennis. And then the other one is from the haunted line, which by the way, the haunted line is one of my favorite lines that Monster High has put out. Uh, and I finally finished it. I finally got Rochelle from eBay and I'll, I'm going to show you that in another video, but, um, I'm super excited about that. Um, anyway, so here is Spectra. I think that her face is gorgeous. She has a very like high cheekbone, very severe look to her face. And I really like that. We'll see it better without the glare. And it looks like her hair is pretty long, which I'm happy about hoping she doesn't have glue seepage because my other Spectra has really bad glue seepage. And here is Frankie, which I think she is super cute. I love her makeup with the light pink color. I think that complements her really well. I love her artwork. Look at that. She's super cute. And then Spectra as well. I've always found it odd that Spectra has like, in instead of like the whites of her eyes, they're like darker purple. It looks a little unsettling to me, but I mean, it is monster high after all. So I have to look past that. <laughs> so on the back of the box, of course, you've got some artwork here and the names of the ghouls at the top. And then they're each holding like a little sign. Uh, Frankie's kind of doing this, we are number one kind of thing. And then um, Spectre is just holding one of the uh, letters here. Now there's a little, a little blurb here if you want to pause it and read it for each. This one's for Spectra. And then this one is for Frankie. And then also on the back is this little picture here that shows the other characters that were in the line. So now I actually already have this Venus from this line. Um, and I know that people were finding her as well at some Ross locations. I did not find her, obviously. Um, the other one I was hoping to find, which I didn't, is um, slow-mo. I don't actually own any slow-mo dolls. I would like to, but um, I don't have any yet. <laughs> but that's okay. I am going to go ahead and start getting these two out of the box. Oh, cute. Just gonna do their little accessories. So I ended up going to, I think, like seven different Ross stores in my area. Um, I'm wondering if just not a lot of the stores got the Monster High dolls, or if it was like only particular ones, or I don't know if there is there any other collectors in like the you know bigger Sacramento area in California, because that'd be interesting, you know to know if there's any fellow collectors out there. Oh wow, oh I didn't know. Okay, so her she has black in her hair. I couldn't see that in the box. It was kind of dark inside. But um, wow, her hair is 
sticky. It doesn't feel sticky at the roots. It just kind of feels sticky down here. So I think she has some product in her hair. Here's Spectra's face. I think it is beautiful. They did a really good job here, and it looks like her eyes, for the most part, are pretty even. She's got these cute little skelet earrings in black, and then she's got her own version of this Monster High t-shirt. Um, all the Ghoul Spirit ones have their own kind of unique spin on the Monster High Spirit jersey or spirit t-shirt that they're wearing. And then she has this cute little skirt, which is kind of her traditional motif of like the pink and purple with the chains on it. And then of course, if you've seen the Haunted movie, then you'll know what that is in reference to or why she has that. So she's got two little bangle bracelets. Um, they are shaped like little skelets around her wrist. I think that's kind of cute. Here's her shoes. I actually really like her shoes. They're just these really cute little classic pink pumps. They do have like molded details to kind of look like chains. And then around her ankles, she does have these like anklets of little, uh, what would you call this? I don't know. The thing where you lock somebody up with chains. One thing that I've always liked about Spectra is the fact that like the ends of her feet and her hands are clear. I, I just think that that's a really cool touch since, you know, she's supposed to be a ghost. Oh, and she's also wearing this blue headband up here. I totally skipped over that, but I like that. It is like pinned to her head with these little plastic stays. So if you took those off, I don't think that this headband would stay on. And then she comes with a cute little pom-pom because, you know, she's supposed to be like a cheerleader or like a, um, what do you call them? Like a pep rally or like a morale booster. You know, I guess that's what a cheerleader basically is, but okay, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I love the fact that she can hold the accessory. So that's super cute. I just think she's so pretty and I love how long her hair is. All right, so let's get Frankie out of the box real quick. I'm so excited to finally be opening these dolls because I literally had them for a while once I got them that day and I, they've been sitting there for a couple weeks taunting me, waiting till I was ready to do the video. Okay, so here is Frankie. She is so pretty, but this bubblegum pink color of her eyeshadow and her lipstick definitely complements her skin tone and her hair color. She's got these cute little lightning bolt stud earrings. And then here's her outfit. You can kind of see what I was talking about, how like, you know, she has a very similar shirt, a very similar spirit jersey or whatever you want to call this, um, but hers is definitely unique to her because it has like that black and white and blue plaid and then the yellow stitching instead of the pink. And then all, even the Monster High logo here has like lightning going around it instead of the chains. And then with this outfit, she has one of the shortest mini skirts I've ever seen on any Monster High doll. I think it's super cute, and I actually think that it goes with her proportions pretty well. Oh, I just realized her knees are rubber, rubber banded together. Let me free her really quick. Here are her shoes. Now, I think that these are some of my favorite Monster High shoes that any of the dolls has had. They are so simple, like they're literally just a wedge pump but they're smooth, there's no detail on them. Really, they could be recolored to go for any Monster High doll. Um, you know, they're just a very simple style, but I also really like the black and blue alternating colors between them. Her hair is a little messy and it's a little crunchy. I can feel some hair gel up here, but as I'm going through like the root area, I'm not finding any um, glue seepage on her. So that's definitely good. And then of course, each of these dolls comes with an accessory. This one is hers. It looks like one of those foam fingers that you wear to like a baseball game or a football game or something like that. And um, it fits on her hand. Is that, what is that? Oh, there's just some, <laughs> some paint splotched there. Oh, I also forgot to point out that she is wearing like the same kind of bangles that Spectra was wearing, except she has one black and one blue and they match her shoes perfectly. Oh my gosh. So her arm is barely strong enough to hold up this thing. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's like she's wearing like one of those foam fingers. I love the fact that the foam finger has its nails done. I think that that's super cute and that's totally monster high. Um, this is what it looks like on the back. She's just holding it like normal. She's like, rooting, we're number one. And then, and then you've got Spectre over here who's just like, yeah, go team. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's the four dolls that I was able to find at Ross. 
Um, I'm really excited. I'm still going to be going to some Ross locations to see if I can pick up any more of the Monster High dolls, especially at that price. Like, being how much they've been selling for online. Um, like, if you go on Amazon right now and find these ghouls, like, they're originally supposed to be like $10 to $15, and people are selling them for like $30 to $40, and I'm like, I don't want to pay $30 $40 for that. <laughs> it's also like a blast from the past you know that wave of nostalgia and um, coming back and going doll hunting for the first time in how long and like especially doll hunting for monster high like it just i'm so i was super excited could not wait that's why i went out like immediately and got these and i'm so glad that i did because you know like they may have disappeared or you know like somebody else may have picked them up but um yeah, so I think it's going to be really hard because I actually really like all four of these dolls, but, like, I can't decide between these two, which is my favorite. Um, like I said, I think Torlight is gorgeous, but um, I've always loved Cleo. I think she's one of my favorite characters and I think has some of the prettiest dolls. Oh, I don't know. Which one is your favorite? Leave a comment down below and let me know out of these four, which of these four dolls is your favorite. Also, let me know if you have any of them uh, and if you were able to find any of them at Ross because um, I'd love to know where they're showing up if there's like other states that are also getting these. So far, I know of uh, Florida and California are the only two that I know for sure are finding the Monster High dolls in Ross. Um, but it'd be kind of cool to see like where it's the, where they're being distributed. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell notification icon if you want to be notified every time I do upload. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.